hello guys and welcome to elite geospatial um this is a tutorial video for geomatics lab and field practice jump 421 and uh, with the little knowledge i have about jump 421 there are basically three data that is required for you to download and um that's one is the google earth for a large scale map and then the srtm that's the elevation data and then landsat imagery so let's quickly run through the download so uh for this video i will be using our university that is abu zaria so i'll just put that in on the search box here abu zaria and i'll search just press enter or a search button so it's going to take us to the main campus that's samaru so i'm aware she said you guys should download one kilometer by one kilometer so i'll put you to through that quickly um so let it clear up let me find now what you're required to do once you start the various local government areas they've given you you are required to sort out a very nice place where you can see all the things that are the futures that are within that place so that you will use in digitizing at the end of the day okay so um I like where I am now at least even if I go down small I like all the features I'm seeing because they are visual like I can see them and I can see their shape so what you need to do here is first you will need to come to tools sorry not tools um views and you remove this sidebar so that you can have a larger portion okay so if let me do it this way i think it's even clearer it's still clear like this because it has a very good uh where i am now if you has a good landscape so even if i leave it like this uh, i can basically see a lot this is the major road that's the sokoto road and then you can see all our, the hostels and all that here so what i would do now is to put a place mark okay so um first i'm putting a place mark here and i'm naming it maybe tp1 now just follow the way you see me name this tp uh, just follow it like that okay okay it's i don't know the system is kind of okay so i will you have to leave this on while you drag it i don't know what's wrong right now but then just follow me okay something is really wrong just give me some minute to fix it okay so you drag this while it's still on you drag it to this side and then you can do away with this one okay it's not cancel you bring another point you drag it you're going clockwise please don't go anti-clockwise then tp2 pt i be tp no anyone <laughs> tp pt2 nice point two so you bring the la the third point and you drag it to this point and you put it pt pt3 you okay and then you bring the last point which is the fourth point and then you drag it here then you name it pt4 and then you okay it okay so basically 
these are the four points this is more than one kilometer but if you want to measure exactly that one kilometer you come to add here and then you will see this path okay so you pick this path and then you change this uh under this measure you change it to kilometer because she asks you kill one kilometer by one kilometer so if you do if you press it to here it's zero zero point nine so one point one kilometer so if you so you know that from here to this place is one kilometer so that is something you can easily use your eye but i'm not trying to do that but this is how you get your 1.1 kilometer one kilometer sorry or you can use a path then you can okay this and do a new one maybe let's name it, bring the color to red but that's not what we are doing okay so this one is one kilometer so let's okay it okay so it will be there so you bring the add tool again I don't know why this is slowing my system i'm trying to get the one of down here so that you will now put this point there so you mark here and mark like this so oh i've not changed i've not gone to uh -huh. so it's 1.6 0 0.6 sorry it's 0 0.7 zero point nine and then one kilometer where we are now so if you see we are one kilometer by down here so you okay it as well so basically from I don't know why my system is trying to mess me up this night. Okay, let's leave it the way it is right now. I don't know why my system is really, really doing what it's doing right now, but let's go like that. So, but I just showed you how you can get your one kilometer by one kilometer, but I'm not using it. Okay, I'm not using it. So, let's quickly remove that. Bring back our side view and then let's remove those points now so let's return re, uh, return the remove the side view back so what you do next is just go to save leave all these points like that there go to save save image So you return bring this one to maximum and then you save image to uh, local dicks have a folder call work so i'm going to create a folder jump 421 so and then i'll put it inside 
then I'm gonna name it a b u so that's the name of my image is going to be saved as jpeg so this will be saved okay that is one so secondly we are going to download srtm okay so srtm once you come in here you have to you know already that you have to log in so mine is already logged in uh, so the first thing you do you come here and then you put certain you ask for address and please so me i'm going to search abu zaria so the srtm you are downloading that's the elevation data is not for it's not for um it's not for the landsat pattern rule they give you it is for the local government area sh she gave you okay so i i can i see a, a bio community market so let's zoom in there let's zoom into ebu and then let's make a mark and then you go to data set now you come down to digital elevations so under digital elevation you come down to srtm so uh, you just click and then show result you click on any of them there and ask it to show you result so it's going to load the result and then it found one result so let's check where is the result okay the result is covering the whole of this on to funtua it's covering the whole of this up to funtua so the whole of abu is inside this place so i think we have what we came for so you click on download and then you download the geotiff this last one here okay it's gonna load and then you click on download okay so while that one is doing let's go and get the landsat downloaded so we'll go back to search of this same uh, earth explorer so you just click on earth explorer i'm trying to rush so that the time the video will not be too long but well so the next is earth explorer um i'm going to use a landsat scene of still this very portion okay but then all of you have your path and role right so under dt set i don't know what is still loading sure but okay it's still loading less yeah we come back when it is done loading so that will continue from there okay so uh you uncheck the srtm first uncheck it now you are not we are, we are done with that of digital elevation so you come down you see landsat landsat so um use landsat landsat collection level two sorry collection two level one so you just enter then use landsat eight okay so you just search so it's going to bring me result of this site so i'll just pick one and download but i'm not going to download this because it's going to take my mb so let's check okay we have a landsat scene covering that site now the next thing you check on the meter data that is one two three four the fourth one is called the meter data you want to check whether this coverage is landsat's uh pattern row 189 52 so you want to check whether it has cloud cover and cloud cover this allows between zero and less than 10 so here we have 0 0.5 so it is perfectly okay okay so you can download this one uh see the next one there it's still the same scene you can check it's still also it has no cloud cover if you check from here you will see that it has no cloud cover when you come down oh this one have up to six cloud cover oh sh but it's still clear actually 
but then the first one is better you go with the first one so you just hit the download button here but you must be locked in for you to be able to download so you just come under this product option and you download this one you hit download and then it's going to process and then bring the download for you so that's what's gonna happen so but basically i don't need this so to round this very um very video up okay let's go to arcgis and uh let's clear this page let's make it a blank space nope i'm not saving you so we import the data we have downloaded so first thing i would like you to know is when you're working in arcgis for the first time you have to connect folder all right so you have to connect a folder and in arcgis we have two that is this is arc map to be precise we have arc map arc globe arc uh, accent so these are based over this and then we have art catalog so but we are in arc map now arc map have two view the data view and the layout view the layout view is where you produce your map and the data view is where you will is your workspace okay so for first timer you have to connect a folder and our device you organize all your work into one folder so mine are all in local disk c that's where all my works are so you see i, I have a folder called work and i've created a folder these are other projects i've created a folder called jump 421 and i've uh, added this which i'll add the other one that we just downloaded now let me go add it bring it to that place that this srtm so i will add it to this place so and then the landside will be added to this place basically so um i've organized my file and then we'll get back to arcgis and then we'll connect folder i have connected folder already but for the sake of you getting in let's do that folder connection again i'll right click and disconnect this very folder okay so let me right click and disconnect so i have no connect so i need to connect the folder now so once you've created the folder and put all your work inside you right click and then you connect folder then you will navigate mine is in local drive c so i will go down to work so just press work once and press ok so it's going to come in so now i will navigate into my jump 421 which have the two data so to add data you can add it from here or add it through here so if you're adding from here you just click and drag and drop so it's going to come in like this but you can also use this add uh, add button here the plus sign and then under folder connect you have jump 421 so you bring it in if you so now that it is in what we are going to first do here because this one is not georeferenced but this this one is georeferenced so this is the google earth the sorry the google yeah google earth image we just downloaded from google earth so we want to georeference this so to do that first most of you that are opening your arcgis for the first time you will see that you know how you may not have uh, this editor and georeferencing toolbar so you just see this place that look like ash here you see this is white but here this very place look like ash click on any part of this portion and then to bring out toolbox for you so you add any one that you want then here we need to just add georeferencing toolbar to it and we we'll bring it here we we'll just put it here so now you zoom using your mouse to see very well then you see this one you press on art control points 
so you add this control point and then you right click on it now it's showing you impute x and y that is it's telling you that your coordinate system so your coordinates are coming in northern eastern and northerns so we'll go back to google earth now here on google earth let's remove this one now here on google earth our coordinates are showing in decimal degrees see it down here it's showing in decimal degrees so you come to tools options and then you change it to universal traverse mikato and then you press ok so here now it's it has changed if you see it has changed so you now come click on this and then you go to properties then you copy the easting the easting without the m and the e which stands for easting then you bring it back to arcgis and then you drop it under your x your easting is the same thing as your x okay so you do the same thing on on the northern you copy it and you take it to arc gis then you remove the one that is there and put it on your x well y sorry not x x is eastern y is northern so you okay you right click to disappear then you right click and zoom to layer okay then you go to point two now zoom is so that you have this at the so it will be point two now i say go clockwise remember so you remove this one now and then you right click on this and you go to properties repeat this process four times so copy it all and preferably please use mouse you paste it you come back to google it you copy northern you paste it and you okay so we'll go to point three now right click and then go back to google it you right click on your point three i say we are going clockwise you paste it on your your eastern to your x your northern to your y okay google it you drop it at your y so we okay then we zoom to layer it's already starting to distort but not to worry so we're putting going to put the last point here and which is the fourth point more like if you check it's already been it's coming close to the whole thing so you will come for the fourth point now copy your eastern to your ex not your ex as in your girlfriend no x geomatics x so you copy your northern uh to your y so now you know it's not the other x is the geomatics one because we have x and y okay so uh now huh, my my heart is beating though yeah. it's back so now it shows that every point have enter but then 
you come under this georeferencing you click on this drop down here and you come down to rectify okay so it's bringing you a box like this so you click on this and then you go to folder that you want it safe in which is this gem just the folder then you name it either since that other one the one there's no your reference abu you can leave this one as abu but in order not to be confused you can just put a uh, abu main cam okay so it's coming as geotif that sorry i said geotif as tif format okay so you save this so it's no longer saving for you as jpeg but it's saving as a tif format which gives it more whatever if you if you do your jump to which one is it two or oh, whatever the one that 210 yeah 210 very well where they thought about image format and the rest so you get this from there so let's wait for it to finish so it has finished rectifying it so the next thing you do is just to press update georeferencing so now you are not done yet so you come here look at where i am now this is viewer and this is view link table so you open the view link table now open it expand it and you look at your residual i think this georeference is not properly done i don't know but this residual is too much for me sha well but then it is your reference but this residual is too much but check on your own be careful and do it then check your residual errors okay so uh let's update okay so now let me verify something to know that it's your reference let's bring this one and see they may not overlap for two reasons reason one being that this one is in wgs while this one is in utm that is one reason but we will have to make them come together in one coordinate system all right so uh i'll show you how to re reproject in case of if you are using um different coordinate system this is on wgs 1984 well this one i hope with define projection if you've not defined we have to still do that and uh -huh. it has not been done so let's define the histogram you right click and then you go to property to automatically generate a histogram it's still generating the histogram which will also okay so under the source here this one has an undefined coordinate system oh my god so first we need to define the spatial reference that's one so to define the spatial reference we you come to your search box here and then you've looked for you just search for define We have defined projection here we have another one here so let's use this one define projection so you can drag this and drop it or you click on this drop down and you see it okay so the coordinate system is unknown so let's give it wgs 1984 zone 32 okay so and then we okay it's going to redefine it so if it's still working on it that's why it's locking here okay so it's defined 
so uh, and then when we when we check here now it's no longer going to be undefined but it's going to be wgs 1984 utm zone 32 so on this one now we project it to this same coordinate system so you put project i'm combining too many things because i want you guys i don't want to do plenty parts okay so project so under this one i still under database ma data management so you click on project the reason why i'm searching is that the toolbox have too many tools so if you know the name of the tool you are using you just search so for this you just follow me as i go on it like that so so um sorry it's double okay so uh you draw this and drop it inside here what is it saying oh sorry this is a raster that's another thing uh it's a raster so we can use the project that of raster well, let's just come to search too so you see project 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 uh -huh. project raster sorry project raster okay so it's appeared to you again okay all right so you drag this and drop or as i said you also drop bring this it will also drop so it comes with a coordinate system then the new coordinate system you want to give it is what this same one so that they can have the same coordinate system so uh and then you just okay So both of them are now having the same coordinate system. They are both having the same coordinate system. So uh, it's a very small area. Let's see. Oh, sorry. Coming. So, you see it. This is the portion we are using. We've reprojected, and then to show you that they are georeferenced, it has. This one has come on it already. So, basically, please go through this. Drop comments on waiting. You know, understand. I go there online to reply you. I go there for the group to reply you. But I beg, I beg let the questions come only after you know understand at the back corner okay so i'll drop the next video after you guys are done with this all right so good luck guys and bye for now